Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's sterile here. It's bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, truth be told, it's actually coming up on 4 a.m. You're probably, if you if you see this video, if I download it, you'll probably see it Monday morning about 3 a.m. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about this because I don't know where this is going to go. Uh, like this morning, I'm, I'm going to take my walk after I just started my workout. I wasn't going to do this video. I don't want to possibly incriminate myself if something happens today or in the near future. Um, honestly, and I started thinking about it and I was like, well, I'm going to, you know, it's on my mind. It's bothering me. I'm going to talk about it. Uh, so, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, this happened the day before yesterday. It was raining. I did a video, and I talked about a confrontation. It was over the black gentleman. I was walking up the street. If you go back about two or three videos, I talk about a confrontation. Um, I was walking up the street. I have no idea who this guy is. He was uh, on the side of the road. I, I didn't even see him until I got close. It was a dark, deserted street here at 5 a.m. As I got closer to him, he started walking towards me. He was carrying like a backpack in his hands, like a bundle or something. And uh, he just started swearing at me. He's like, F you, M effer. And he was just talking all sorts. I got, you know, I couldn't make out a lot. I got, I, right in my mind, right then, you know, that, that, that passive side of me says, just avoid this guy, you know, walk that way, walk in another direction, you know, ignore him. But the other side of me that I've, I've that's dealt with violence before, knew I couldn't do this. So I just walked straight towards him. And as I got closer to him, I talk about this in the last video. Uh, I started thinking, I was like, I want him to see my face. I want him to understand that I'm not screwing around. And I lowered my umbrella and I leaned into it and we're about five feet away at that point. And I was like, what'd you say? And his demeanor just, whoop, he just, he thought better of it. And he started backpedaling, walking backwards. And he wouldn't repeat what he said. He's like, uh, you heard what I said. And he's still kind of mumbling under his breath, but he backpedaled and walked away. I thought that was the end of it. All right, so yes, uh, the day before yesterday, today's Sunday, this was Friday morning. It was pouring, another pouring rainy day. I don't know what this guy is doing. I don't know if he's homeless or what. Good sized dude, over six feet, about my size, my build, black gentleman, probably half my age. All right, always carrying this, this backpack. Okay, so I'm walking, it's raining. I don't have my umbrella with me this day. This is Friday morning, about 5 a.m. And, uh, I'm walking down the street. I'm walking down the, this is a large street and intersects with another street, T-Bones into another street. And I'm walking down to the, to the street crossing. And on the other side of the street, all of a sudden, there's a mailbox. It's, it's all dark, no traffic, no people, deserted, nobody out, dark. All of a sudden, I see there's a person standing there and he's kind of leaning against the mailbox, just and holding a bundle, uh, like a backpack or something. And he's just standing there, looking right up at me. I'm like, I'm like, son of a bitch, you got to be kidding me. You know, and I just, I, I, I really surprised myself. I'll, I'll get more into that in a second. And I got to the end of the street, where I, the way I usually walk. So the, the street T-bones, and I take a left. That's the way I usually go. And as I take that left, this guy stops leaning against the mailbox and starts walking along on the, you know, matching my speed on the other side of the street and starts talking smack. Starts going, mum, mum, you know, talking under his breath. But, you know, he, he starts walking along, you know, matching me on the other side about, you know, this, this is a big street. But like I said, it's all deserted. Probably two lanes on either side. You know, so it's a good distance, a good 75 feet across. It's, a, it's two lanes on either side. It's a large, it's main street. But it's totally deserted. You know, big, tall buildings, totally deserted. And uh, I, I surprised myself. Uh, I just felt rage. I, I, the thing that I think, I think what really just made me snap was the fact that this guy had the audacity to, like, it looked like he was waiting for me. And then when he mass started walking along next to me, like targeting me, man. I, I, I even this is these are the times where I've talked about this before. You know, I, I led a. A violent life, you know, before I got clean and sober. I've been clean and sober since October 23rd of 2006, 18, almost 18 years. And dealing with my anger and rage, you know, I've been a well over 100 fights. I'm a tall guy. And ever since I was, you know, six years old, I've been getting in fights. Just seems like, you know, they, they pick the tallest guy, the biggest guy to screw with. And, uh, and I never backed down. I, I've probably lost as many fights as I've won. 
You know, and I've, I've, I, I, sometimes I'd rather lose a fight because you learn from losing. You get better at it. And I don't honestly like hurting people. I do not. I've never enjoyed. I've broken people's arms. I've broken people's noses and jaws. And I, I felt, to this day, I still feel terrible. And I hate having to look over my shoulder. Because I still think, you know, from 20 years ago, you know, this some guy's brother or uncle or nephew is going to come find me for the, you know, the stuff I did. And I hate that feeling. Okay. So I just, uh, the rage, I just start, <laughs> I just feel that rage. My hands start, my hands get numb. I've talked about this before. Like on TV, you always see when a, a fight, you know, somebody will hit somebody else in the face and they'll go, ow, ow, my knuckles. You know, and that, I, 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 I that, that, that bothers me so much because I've never felt that. I mean, my, my knuckles have gotten swollen later. You know, I've broken my knuckles and they hurt like the next day. But whenever I hit somebody, I don't even feel the impact. I've never felt it. I've never felt that once in my life. It seems so phony to me. Like my hands get numb. And I just, the only way I know that I hit somebody is I see their head go, their head snap back. You know, as I, you know, that's the only way usually I even know that I connected with somebody. I don't feel that impact. You can tell I'm still revved up about this, man. And uh, I start yelling. And I hear my voice reverberate like this. I'm, I'm screaming, you picked the wrong mother effort to screw with today. You, you know, t I'm like, today's going to be a bad day for you. And I start walking across the street. And all of a sudden, you know, I, I'm picturing what's going to happen. You know, as soon as I get within range of this guy, I'm, I'm going to drop him. You know, uh, and, you know, the cops are going to come. I could hear my voice reverberating off the buildings. It, you know, people are sleeping. It'd be a surprise if somebody already didn't call the cops. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, this is going to, you know, I'm going to end up in jail. I'm going to get arrested for this, especially if the guy's on the ground spitting teeth, which more than likely it's what's going to happen. Uh, you know, this is going to work out good for me. So I stop in the middle of the street. Now, I'm just so enraged that this guy had the audacity to wait for me. It appeared. It appeared. Maybe he was waiting for a bus. I don't know. But then he starts matching my speed and MFing me as I'm walking, as he's matching me. You know, and that just hit me the wrong effing way, man. And uh, I stopped in the middle of the street. And I said, you turn, you turn the F around right effing now. Turn around, turn the F around and go back that way. Go back that way. And he's like, F you, F you. And then he just, he turns around and I'll be damned. He starts walking back and he's, you know, he's mumbling. He's, he's like, no, he's complaining, but he's, he listened to me. And he starts going back the other way. I hate this. I hate having to do this. I wish to God that. I just had a regular morning, and I didn't run into anybody. But I, I, I'm not going to be passive. Uh, you know, with, with somebody like this, you know, I, I, I'm being targeted. You know, I, I really get the impression. What, what's going through my mind is this guy thinks I'm a timid old guy out exercising, and he could screw with me, or, or worse. You know, I'm being targeted, and that, that is not going to freaking happen. That is not going to happen. You know, if, if, you know if, I have to, if I have to go to my last breath, that ain't going to fucking happen. Um, you know, and then I've talked about this before. I've had $5,000 worth of dental work after getting clean and sober. I'd lost all my teeth in addiction. And there's no freaking way this guy is going to get in a sucker punch and, you know, mess up my, my, my beautiful teeth. You know, that was the biggest thing. I told my, I told my family about this yesterday. <laughs> Just, you know, my mom's like, forget about your, your teeth. You know, and I could see the, the look of fear and concern on her face. I can't lie to my family. I'm flat out honest and open with my family these days. And I know I shouldn't, you know, I know, I, I, you know, telling my mother and my family is not a good thing. But I can't keep secrets from them. You know, and I see the look of concern. concern. But I tell her, I was like, this guy was targeting me, man. And I'm not going to have that. That's going to stop. I'm going to walk that same route every day. You know, and now I'm thinking, you know, the way that I controlled him, he's, you know, more than likely, you know, it wouldn't surprise me that he's going to harbor a grudge. And uh, what's going to happen today? What's going to happen tomorrow? Is he going to bring a little something extra along? You know, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm going to do what I'm going to do every day. Fear other people are not going to deter me. I'm going to live my life 
the way I want to live my life, and nobody's going to control it. We'll see if that's okay. We'll see how good an idea that is. And if, you know, if I'm still here next year, we'll see. All right, that's the video for today. I'll be back later. I got more videos lined up all set to go. You guys have a good Sunday or Monday if you're watching this Monday.